Guys, I really felt like when we come out this morning that we'd catch some fish. I had no idea that they'd be biting like he is. This week's Carolina Outdoor Adventures TV is brought to you by these sponsors. Carolina Outdoor Bait and Tackle, Crank and Crazy Custom Baits, by Outdoor Pro Gear, and also by Buck Buster Sense. Sense for the serious hunter. One thing that really gets me in this lake, guys, is we all know crappy is mostly structural orientated. Uh, but out here where we're at, there really is no structure. I mean, the, the bottom of this lake is just as flat as a pancake. There no rocks, uh, no dips or uh, main channels. And I really don't know why that they choose this section, but nine out of 10 times, this is where we find them at. Um, like I say, every once in a while, we'll find them in, in shallower water or even deeper water when it's real hot. But we're in about anywhere from 8 to 12 foot deep water down through here. We fished around a lot of this brush piles and stuff against the bank and ain't done much good at all. But then we get out here in open water and one right after that. yellow perch for this part of the country anyway. Here I am getting beat up. I'm trying to take a fish off of it. <laughs> Gonna be hating it before the day's over. Uh, we haven't been fishing in three or four weeks, so we got kind of got out of the rhythm. And the one thing that we managed to forget is our cooler full of drinks and ice water, which happens to be in my truck an hour and a half from here. Got that one. That gum are with nothing. I got him, huh? Got that one. Good one. Feels like a good one. Not bad. I swallowed it, didn't it? Yeah. What's bad on this rod rack back here, sometimes one of your pole bounces and you don't even know which one you got a bite on. Yeah. But I got a double. 
That is aggravating. Though. Crap, that looks like a good one. You need a hand. I hope that didn't get off. Nope, not yet. That kind of small. Should have worried about this and first. It's a much better fish. Still too small to keep though in my book. You couldn't get to it. Well, some of these things is just absolutely inhaling it. Seems like they're all over the lake today. They are. We are in western North Carolina, so mid 80s in the middle of October is pretty rare. Normally I'd be out here in a long sleeve shirt or even that light jacket I had on this morning, but it's just plum hot right now. Wait for that to bite again, man. Yep, that one. but I never could get to it when I needed to. Ah, another one. Guys, I really felt like when we come out this morning that we'd catch some fish. I had no idea that they'd be biting like this. You know, I'm sure you've noticed after we got out of the brim this morning, we really ain't missed many fish at all. Uh, Seems like when these crappy hits it, they, they take it. I mean, don't get me wrong, yes, I've missed several, but Something cold to drink, but we may have to find out here a little while. <laughs> a long ways. Yep. 
Can you get the bottom of that second pole, too? I want to try to drag him on the bottom. A triple. <laughs> you just can't complain when you're catching them like that. It's in the mid 80s in the middle of October. It's crazy. Yeah, well, this time we usually have already had a couple of frost. I know. Back to the house anyway. Well guys, I think we're going to call this video done. Uh, we're going to probably get out of here in a few minutes, go get something to drink, maybe something to eat. And uh, no doubt we're going to fish this evening, but I uh, hope you've enjoyed the show as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. And I uh, hope you'll stay tuned with us and uh, watch for future videos. And, uh, catch us out on the water or in the woods sometime, sometime here in the near future. But, uh, until then, have a good day and be safe this weekend. See you.